In this video, I'm going to show you how to partition or split a directed line segment into a certain ratio. In this case, it'll be in the ratio of 3 to 1. Now, this ratio is the key to everything, and you have to pay attention to the order. So, if the directed line segment is segment DC, the first number in the ratio is the distance from D, for every distance C um, represented by the second number. All right, so the first number goes with the D and the second number goes with the C. The order matters. If this had been um, segment CD, then, it would have, uh, then the C would have gone with the three and the D would go for the one. Um, so that's the first thing that's very important. The next thing is the, the total. So this is saying that for every three spaces that we are away from D, we will be one space away from C. Well, what's the total number of spaces I just described? Four. All right, okay, this is going to give us two fractions. All right, a fraction that tells us how far away from uh, D we are, and another fraction that tells us how far away we are from C. All right, three-fourths and one-fourth. So we need to write that down, all right? So uh, wherever this split is, it will be 3 fourths of the way from D, okay? Or it will be 1 fourth of the way from C. We can use either one of these fractions at any time, whichever one is most convenient for us. So we'll decide which one we'll use later. Now, because we are dealing with x's and y's, ordered pairs, um, what I suggest is you deal with your x values and your y values separately. So I'm going to do my x values over here. So x values. All right, I um, just want to make it clear that that's x values. And I'm going to do my y values over here. So y values. OK, let's make some diagrams. So um, this little number line represents my x values. And this little number line will represent my y values. So um, as I look at c and d, my x values are 14 and 2. Now, be careful, 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 uh, because these are not given to me in order. Um, so I'm, I want to record these numbers on my number line, but obviously 2 is less than 14. So I'm going to put the 2 first and the 14 second. Okay, uh, but I will not forget that uh, 2 came from point D, and the 14 came from point C. So just be careful when you draw your picture. Um, now, as I look at my Y values, are negative 7 and 1. Okay, uh, negative 7 is smaller than 1, so I'll put negative 7 on the left-hand side. Uh, but negative 7 comes from point C, and uh, the 1 comes from point D. Okay? Now, the next thing I need to do is um, figure out what is the whole way between these points. All right? I might go 3 fourths of the way from D and then make my partition, my split, or I might go 1 fourth of the way from C. But first, I need to know how long is the whole way. Well, uh, I'm looking at these numbers. From 2 to 14, those are 12 apart. Okay, what about um, between negative 7 and 1? Okay, those are 8 apart. All right, 7 to the left of 0 and 1 to the right. That's a total of 8. Okay, now, it's time for me to choose which fraction I'm going to use. I always like to go from left to right. So for the x values, I'm going to go from D. For that reason, I'm going to use the 3 fourths. So 
I want to go three-fourths of the way. That's, that means I need to go three-fourths of 12. So I need to figure out what that is. Now I can do this in my head because 4 goes into 12 three times, and 3 times 3 is 9. All right, if you're not comfortable with that, then you will use a calculator and do 3 fourths okay, times 12. All right, and you'll get 9. Anyway, this tells us um, how far we need to go, how many spaces we need to move. So um, I'm going from D, like I said. So I now know that I need to go 9 spaces. So I'm doing plus 9. All right, uh, so what is 2 plus 9? That's 11. So that means I'm going to land at 11. That is the x value of my partition, the x value of the split. So I need to do the same thing with the y values. Um, this time, I'm going to go from C, because I always like to go from left to right. And this time, C is on the left. So I'm going to go from C. That's why I'm going to do 1 fourth. I need to go 1 fourth of the way. Um, so that means I need to find out what's 1 fourth of 8. Um, 1 fourth of 8, that's just 8 divided by 4. Um, so that's going to be 2. Okay, so that means I need to go 2 away. All right, 2 from C. So I'm, again, I'm going, because I, I'm going to the right, I'm adding 2. So what is negative 7 uh, plus 2? That's going to be negative 5. So that's where I will land. And that is the y value of my partition. If I put my x value and my y value together, um, then I get the point 11, comma, negative 5. And we're supposed to call it point P. So point P is 11, comma, negative 5. Um, but now that I look back, I guess we were supposed to write it down here. So I'll just move it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.